Good morning, everyone. Today is uh, February 15th, 2024. Time right now is 9.16 a.m. Eastern Time. So yesterday when the markets opened here, we had a gap up. The gap got closed in the A period, as you can see, right? And also in the overnight session, we had single prints and a prominent POC. Single prints got filled, prominent POC did not get taken out. So that's information there. This does make it weak, but you know, that's just one data point. Where was value? Value was overlapping to higher to higher all day. And so your best trades were in direction of value, right? But it's so difficult, right? Because this market opens up, close the gap, you know, it left a weak, uh, poor high on the top. And then, of course, we came back into the previous day's sessions. So it was not easy, I'm sure, to take uh, trade this day. I was not trading yesterday. But, um, you know, you had just few informations here. You had DE highs, exactly same levels. You had this PC highs were poor. So, of course, once you saw the one time framing higher, for example, in the G period, you could have started looking at taking going long. But, of course, this was so much in the J period. This came all the way down. Not easy. I'm sure it was not easy when the market was unfolding itself. So these are the days, you, you know, of course, once you see the tempo, the volume, you can really feel it, but not always. Maybe if I did trade yesterday, it would not have been a profitable day. It would have, you know, just been so confusing. And I admit it. So, you know, it just happens sometimes, right? But days when you get opportunities like these gap down days, those are the days you really have to make most of it and, uh, you know, make your month, your year. You know, basically that's how trading is. And on days like this, if you do, you know, go into a loss, you should have a limit to your loss, right? I will only spend a thousand dollars loss today or two thousand, whatever your limit is. And that's the max loss you would take and you step out. That's it. Um, yesterday also we had a spike in the M period. So that's the base of the spike. Spike guidelines I've explained in my market profile 101. I'll put the link on top. If it opens over the spike, I look for continuation higher and possibly even, let's see here. Uh, go to this POC here. And this POC, we have that trend line. I'll watch that trend line, the 50 50 half century level. And basically, that's how I'll be trading. Uh, if it opens below the spike, of course, we have some weak references here. But that's just one data point. I'm not really looking at that. What I will look for is the spike. Do we come back in? Do we come back into previous day's value area? I'll watch that for a change. I'll also watch the open, of course. And this J low seems like an important level. If the J low breaks, then I'll absolutely be looking at going short and maybe looking at that uh, over, uh, yesterday's low, taking out that level there. And then, of course, continuation lower. But when I say absolutely, meaning I look at tempo, I look at volume, I might flip, I might just switch over from going short to going long, then you never know, right? So you have to feel the market. I know it's not easy. I wish it was simple, simple to explain, but screen time will let you understand these things, okay? All right, guys, um, for those of you who don't know, I have now a Discord channel. I put the link at the bottom. Uh, feel free to join. Nothing really exciting, just simple stuff. If you have any questions, I try to answer it there and help you guys out, okay? Take care and good luck trading. Aloha.